everyone welcome so yeah i guess this is gonna be a part two for that original video for when i talked about all the new stuff they revealed so far in the wild stuff that you know they released a while back and uh, it's like yeah it's like i upload that video it's like oh space it out a few days and it'll be like yeah it'll be fine just give me some time and all that other stuff and it turns out the day i uploaded the video it just they released a new trailer and uh yeah, and they added three new monsters to the whole reveal pile, and it's like, okay, this is a weird coincidence, it's just like, took me by surprise that it's like, I spaced out the video, you know, upload schedule, and it so happened to coincidentally do the same day that he did the trailer, so it's like, yeah, it's like, okay, so that's just kind of a little bit funny, but uh, yeah, this, again, there's gonna be a part two of that other video, we're just gonna go over new stuff, talk about it, have fun, all the good stuff, and uh, yeah, just not very much else to say. And I uh, hope everyone enjoys the video, and uh, not re again, not much else to say, so let's kind of just get right into it. Alright, so, the main star of the show, my personal opinion, Quamatris? Quamatris, I guess that's how you pronounce his name. I know it's like a saying where it's like they spliced cockatrice and the uh, word for fire, so. And it fits, because this is what you fire chicken. He goes block, and then he goes to your barn, and then he commits arson. He's wonderful. I love him. I love I love Fire Chicken with all my heart, and uh, yeah, it turns out I was right originally. He is actually, he's actually a Brute Wyvern, which is kind of surprising, because like, I didn't suspect him to be a Brute Wyvern, to be fair. I thought he was like this weird, like maybe Bird Wyvern maybe, or like some thing roughly around that angle, because he, again, the Brute Wyvern, again, the tail is similar to Glavinous, the focus on the tail, I guess. Though I guess, uh, Brute Wyverns like Anjanath and Baroth don't do it so much, but I'm actually just kind of surprised he's actually a brute wyvern, so it's like, he does he definitely has that, like, body structure. So, like, he definitely does have that body structure for a brute wyvern. But he just looks, it, it just looks weird seeing a brute wyvern that looks so heavy like a chicken. It really does fit quite a lot. And, yeah, he, fire chicken, so he literally just drags his tail around and sets fire to stuff as his whole main gimmick, so... He's, he's definitely very interesting. Again, they did definitely do the chicken look very much well. He looks like a freaky little chicken that looks, or I guess rooster is a better way to put it, where it's like, it's all cut up a little bit, the tail looks more like a, it almost looks like a, I want to say like a, it looks like a brush, like a brush you'll use to sweep up like pollen or like dust off the ground or, you know, something to get, you know, like a hand brush almost. And I think that's what they were going for, like a hand brush the you know, push air around and, uh, set fire to stuff, and, uh, yeah, fire chicken, <laughs> it's, it's what you just a fire chicken, and I'm just, I'm so happy for his existence, and I'm kind of surprised they didn't go for, like, a more chicken-like feet, in terms of, like, look to him, because, like, I guess they still want to keep him looking, like, you know, brute wyvern, and not, like, some, you know, like, kubu, maybe, I guess, because they want to separate that, because, yeah, kubu definitely does exist, and, uh, yeah, they eat fire, so... They share that, so I guess they're trying to separate that, but he definitely doesn't feel like a big fret. It looks, if he feels more like, I guess, not like an Anjanath, where it's like, oh, I'm gonna run for the entire ecosystem kind of look, or feel, I guess, to him. He's more like, I think, like Bear Off, where it's like, he's there, he has this thing, and he just does it. Like, he definitely feels more like a Bear Off, honestly. Then again, I could be wrong, and it's like, he could be a major thing, but. Like, he feels like more like a bear off, or like maybe even like a. I guess not like. I guess maybe like a Nargakuga to your fret, maybe like a too high of a mark, or like a standard, but he definitely does feel like a bear off tier, where he's like, he's there, and he's a fret. So, of course, you know, you'll probably go right through him if you have proper gear, but he's definitely very interesting. To f Again, I really like the tail. Like, besides like the whole fun, you know, funny haha -ha chicken thing, it's like. His tail looks really interesting, because usually a lot of brute wyverns are like, their tails are like very long, muscular, you know, Glavinus is a perfect example. You know, Anjanath and Baroth have meaty tails, like very meaty tails, and uh, you know, stuff that will actually act like, it's a club, basically. It's a club for a tail. But this seems like very much like, it seems more, I guess, I wouldn't say soft, because it's obviously very scaly, like it has scales on it, or at least some hardened parts to it from what it looks like. So it isn't soft, but it's like not like as dense looking as a you know Glavinus tail, for example. And I guess that's the you know, it, it looks unique. Like 
it was unique enough where I couldn't really tell it's like is it a brute wyvern or is it like a bird wyvern I was kind of like thinking about that when I saw the trailer because like he he has a lot of you know he has the he has a lot of qualities of both and it's like it's kind of hard to tell exactly because like he has a beak he has I guess not really a beak is that really a beak can you really define it as a beak uh, maybe you know now I'm looking at it, it doesn't look as much of a beak really this looks like a mouth you know the more I'm looking at him he actually looks more again it's like i'm having a really hard time trying to decide if he's like a bird or like more brute wyvern because he's just like that weird mash or like mix where it's like he's close enough to both where it's like you have to kind of look at him for a bit but i'm very happy with design and all that stuff and i'm more than happy to get like a smaller brute wyvern that isn't a massive problem like a bear off tier brute wyvern because i really like bear off he's one of my more favorites in the series overall I was always a great fan of like bear off and that kind of stuff so having a root wyvern that is kind of in that same tier of size at least from what it looks like in the trailer and just having a different take on that whole like small root wyvern I'm actually really happy with that so yeah very much happy with it and I'm kind of interested in seeing how like his tail moves will work because like you know in Rise you know the dual blades Tend to make you very mobile like your vertical mobility goes through the roof because you're just able to jump over so much stuff you probably shouldn't and it's like if they're going to keep that i i I'm, they're pretty sure not not they're probably not going to keep the same mobility as in rise because rise is kind of a weird little outlier fun game but i do want to try maybe more grounded monster hunter eventually and this may be it so i'm a little curious about how he can really abuse like the hitbox for the tail because like if you don't drag it around the ground a lot, then it's like, how can you easily jump over it? So it's like, yeah, it would be kind of funny to figure that out. Or, you know, maybe I'll just go like, you know, something else and we'll say. But yeah, I was very interested, very excited. And I think I need to move on from Fire Chicken before I go around in a loop again. But it's just like, yeah, he's very interesting. Love my Fire Chicken. He's a very funny boy. I love him dearly. All right, so we're moving over to apparently the apex of the forest area. Oof, Dunna? I believe that's how you pronounce it. I guess, we'll just go with it. So good old Oof is, uh, he's definitely very interesting. Like, I I want to say Woodroff-like. Like, I said Woodroff-like during the trailer reaction, but I think that's more of, like, Leviathan's, you know, wet, fishy stuff, and, you know, you're wet, so it's like, you know, it's kind of thing he shares with Woodroff, so. But looking at the full render of him, those fins look very interesting. And they're, they're very, like gel like where you can kind of see through them and they're like i want to say they have the same like it was have like an oily look to them where they're like you know a little bit rainbowish like they have kind of like oily rainbow to them which is very interesting and apparently there's a i don't know again i don't know just how his gimmick will work but from what i heard from little snippets here and there apparently he has a gimmick where he has gets water on himself and it defends him in some way so we'll see but if that's the case, then, you know, it's very obviously he, he uses, like, the water and the almost, like, bridal gown, almost, like, or, like, I guess cape, that's a better way to put it, bends to, like, defend himself. And, again, it's, like, his whole, like, movements in the trail where, like, where he just rears up on both hind legs and just roars and all his fins go out, or he jumps through the, he jumps out of water and slams back down to create a tidal wave. He seems very interesting, and he seems very powerful, like, I would say, like, He's very similar to like Mitsu, where they're very colorful, which you know kind of fits because they're Leviathans, so I guess it kind of works in some ways. Le Leviathans can be very colorful sometimes, but again, it's not guaranteed, you know, like there's quite a few of them that are not, so but it's like he seems very much like also like a Tetra almost, where he's like he's gonna throw his body weight around a little bit, but I'm not sure about his like it's probably not his whole gimmick. It, it just seems like more like just a thing he is because he's a large monster, and it's like body swam works because you're big you're like when you see a uh, little petulant little hunter trying to steal your bones you know steal your calcium to make a better sword and you're like a hundred times his body weight in size it's like okay squish so it's like yeah it makes sense so it may just be that than anything else instead of actual like he throws his body weight around because i'm pretty sure like he would have a few attacks where he would he will probably you know spin around and his fins will just go flailing outwards and you know smack you around like a flail that wouldn't be surprising because they do look beefy enough where it looks like they could do that and again he seems very interesting where he's able to go off area probably and basically create a 
tidal wave would basically knock you over, which seems very interesting, because I'm pretty sure there hasn't been a monster that has done that, really. I knew Plesioth in the older games, which I never tried, because, again, the first time I played it was third, and Plesioth didn't do that back then. Or Plesioth didn't do it in that game, because I was thinking that that was the game Water Combat and all that stuff. Like, Plesioth will, like, take pop shots at you from outside the area while in water. Like, this seems very similar to that, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be a little bit less annoying, because it's not like Plesioth's going to sit out there and waste your time. This guy is like, he goes out there, jumps out, body swims the water, and then he comes right back in after tile waves, so that could be really fun. And it's a great environmental um, attack overall, where he just, which we just tries to drown you, which is like, okay. But yeah, just try and drown him. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Though, he's probably going to be like, very heavily meant to be like, again, it's like, on that whole like, gimmick probably. Because he probably won't share a lot of Leviathan water-based attacks, you know, the slide, the belly flop, body swams, all that stuff, claw attacks. Though I don't think he's going to rely much on bites, because like, his head is very small overall compared to the rest of his body. Like, Rudrop has this massive ma like size of his head compared to his body, like his, like at least compared to this guy's, that Rudrop's head, you know, Regaicris's head, they're massive. So I'm pretty sure this guy won't rely much on biting, but we'll have to see. But yeah, he's definitely a beefy boy, and I'm very excited. And again, almost like gown-like fins across his body look very cool. It's a little bit insane how big they are. You think it won't be that good to have as an actual creature, but yeah, apparently this is the apex of the forest. So like Ray Dow, uh, yeah, the already you know uh, tenuous limits of biology can go out the window. So <laughs> even in the games, tenu you know tenuous limits to reality. So. Which I'm fine for. It's fun. And again, they're probably going to explain it really well. It's like, okay, that makes sense. So it's like, fine. So, either way, I'm excited. Looks really good. Leviathans are always quite nice to have. And this guy looks really interesting. I'm not sure if he's actually going to be like an amphibian. Or if he's like an actual just reptile Leviathan. But either way, I'm very excited. So, very, very excited. And moving on to the main star of the trailer. Arkveld. I think that's how I pronounce his name. Hope so. The White Wraith, or something, I can't remember if it's a White Wraith or not, but, uh, from a trailer, but the man has two flails that he's gonna beat you to death with, and it's gonna be really funny, so. Yeah, flails, I didn't expect that, really. You know, again, Astawas has the claws on his wings that he uses, he pummels you with. Raydow has the blades that he goes, scrapes around the ground, as we saw in the trailer books, which was really cool. He just grinds him along the ground, just, Yanks him back up, which is quite nice. I was gonna hit my chair there, so you hit a bump. Then uh, that's why, because I actually moved my arm to try and. I'm tired. Also, by the way, currently a hurricane's going over my house right now, so. If you hear any noises, that's probably why. Because I had like four power conductors outside my house, or. Keep a... I forget the name exactly again, it's like past midnight. I heard all four of them explode outside, so it's like. I, don't... I still have power, surprisingly, but. Yeah, just, if you hear anything, that's why. But yeah, it's just like, Ray Dow grinds his wings against the ground and blades and all that stuff, and uh, yeah, this guy has clubs. He has, not clubs, flails. Which is very interesting, because like, I didn't really expect it, because like, the Asphalt's claws and the Ray Dow's blades make sense, because they're like, aerodynamic, and like, they don't seem to be that big of a hindrance. But uh, like, unless they're like, hollow bone, or like, like very white, Wait, they'll be very hard for him to move. Because apparently he flies, apparently. At least I think he does. So, imagining him flying is, like, interesting. But also, just, he looks very Arctic-themed, almost. Like, he's very snow-themed. He's very pale, very white. A lot of fur. And he has those, like, giant horns in the front, like you expect from, like, a yak or, like, an animal that's, like, very woolly, Arctic-themed. And he feels this, like, very Arctic-themed. So it's kind of a little bit weird to see him fight Ray Dow in the Sandy Plains area. It's a little bit weird, but again, it's like, he's the star of the show for the wilds, so he's the, you know, which, you know, I'm happy they didn't go too far out with, like, Mag. Like, Magnamalo from Rise was a little bit much. Like, he's a fine fight, relatively. I, I, it's annoying for me when he does a rocket jumps through the air and just body slams you, but it's funny when you do it against the other monsters, because, you know, Tactical Dooku and Magnamalo just do like over 1,000 damage to some poor fool and just get the hunt done so much faster but yeah like this is a if like this guy popped up in the arctic this will be a perfectly fine design i actually really like the design quite a lot 
and he looks very really threatening. I really like the horns, especially because, like, I'm pretty sure there's not any other really flying wyvern or wyvern with this kind of body structure that has those horns really in the main game. Like, those like curving downward horns that poke back up. Like, I'm pretty sure, like, you know, Astawas has the, you know, I guess almost mohawk almost. And Ray Dow has like the horns coming out the side. But, like, yeah, he's a very interesting design. Actually, I'm kind of surprised they didn't do the horn type this guy has sooner. So, and they look very cool too. But just like, also the flails I just noticed do almost seem like they're connected with fiber almost, where it's like there's calcified bits to it, and then there's like fiber? I'm guessing it's like dead cartilage or like some form of like dead tissue, so it'll be a little bit weird if they, you know, that was living tissue. Because yeah, it, that seems pretty bad to, you know, throw around a flail of yourself and then you get cut on it and then you bleed out, so it's like, I'm pretty sure it's like dead cartilage and all that stuff, or calcified body parts that don't function, they're just, you know, mass the throw around with so yeah very excited and i'm actually really again just really happy he's actually a i'm all i'm a big fan of like i i of course you know i love the stupid raging ape you know the stupid little dragon ball z monkey but i'm fine with a little bit of like weird stuff but i'm, I'm perfectly happy with this as like a main just like he looks feasible main thing you know as feasible as monster hunter can get so like i'm happy for like a stable like creature even though the flails look a little bit ridiculous, but sure. <laughs> I'm actually really happy with this, so. I keep on saying that, like, I said that like five times probably, but, uh, yeah. Anyway, just really happy, and, uh, I don't know what actual element he is. He's probably just physical, so he's probably like Nurg He's probably like Nergigante, where it's like, he's the dragon of throwing, you know, fists around and pummeling you into, you know, dirt, so, like, so he's probably not gonna have an element, because he hasn't shown it, but, again, we may, again, gameplay may prove me wrong, and, so be it. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see. Again. So we'll see. And I'm really happy to again chose this as like your main centerpiece for the game. Alright, so that's all three of the new guys that were revealed in trailer. So again, it's kind of funny how like again, it's like I made the video, I uploaded it on a certain day to give me some more time to uh, deal with some other stuff. And <laughs> the trailer popped up the same day. It's like, oh shoot. So it's like kind of funny like that, I guess. But uh yeah. Hope everyone enjoyed the video. I do appreciate everyone stopping by and all that stuff. Of course, there's Discord available if you want to go there. Twitch if you want to go there. But as long as you enjoyed the video, that's kind of the main thing, so... Yeah. So either way, hope everyone enjoyed the video. See you guys next time, whatever that may be. So, stream, video, whatever. And, uh, yep, hopefully, hopefully everyone's safe if you're caught in a hurricane like I am. Thankfully, we only lost power like 20 times. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm fine, thank way, but hopefully everyone else is staying safe, and, uh, yeah. See you guys next time, whenever that may be, so, yeah. Good night, everyone. Please stop by, everyone, and see you guys next time. Ciao.